Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 4741 in Candy Crush Saga, and if you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. So, this is actually one of my least favorite types of boards. I've got 24 moves to collect 50 candy curls, and they're all along the border, so they're hard to reach. And and I find that oftentimes on a board like this, what happens is I'll have one here, one here, one here at the end. You know, you can't, they're strung out so long against this. But we've got some things we can do, and I've got a stripe dispenser here. I'm going to make a stripe that takes things out here and hits this area. I need to get these removed so I can reach everything else. And one of the ways to do that may be to hit the bubblegum pop if I can. Let's use those stripes that are coming down. Oh, I think there was a wrapped candy that showed up. So that looks pretty good. Now what do I do? Do I make this move here and hit a few things? Do I do this move here, hit this, and bring the, per the blue down? Do I focus on what's up here, or do I focus low to the ground? I think I might be able to get a color bomb if I do this. Oh. Oh my, and now that color bomb is going to take out a color and concentrate things down, and it's hitting things on its way. I think I might be able to get a striped wrapped. That's pretty nice right there. Striped wrapped, and I'm going to pull it off to the edge so it can really hit this area here. So there's one area that's cleared out that I don't have to deal with anymore. I can make a wrapped. Now that wrapped isn't awful and it does hit this, but what am I going to do with that wrapped sitting in the center when I've got to get things on the side? I think I'm better off clearing this out so this is now a clear area and hitting this here. I still have this opportunity and I may be able to pair it up with something. Let's go ahead and take this now. Oh, let's see. Move it lower, bring this down and hit this, set this off, do something like this and try to get a setup. I'm going to do this. That stripe doesn't work well if I bring it upwards. It just doesn't. This stripe only helps here and clears things out. I think I'm better off doing something like that. So that cleared out a bit over here. Oh, can I make a combo? I can do this and I can do this. And now I'm aligned. If this were over, I could take this side out. I can't, it's not over that far. It can hit this and this substantially though. Although I could do that without the wrapped. I could just do this and hold on to the wrapped and see if I can get something better from it. There, that's cleared. I've got these stripes coming down, but I also have this purple here. I don't know. I'm going to take out the red. I don't have a lot of red on this board. Here we go. Maybe. Stripe draped combo when it's off to the edge so I can hit all of these with it. That's a better situation than that other stripe draped combo. So I've got five moves and two of these left. One up here, one down here. I can't gather those together. So I'm going to clear this out and hope that I can set up a new path here. Oh, yikes. I can't get those to line up. And stripes going downward don't necessarily help immensely. Let's see if I can work on this. Oh, a wrapped candy. What if I can bring a wrapped candy down with a stripe? What if... Oh gosh, I don't see that I can. I was thinking if I could get a, a stripe to show up here, I could do a stripe trap that would hit here and hit here. I don't see that, but let's do this. And then how do I shoot that all the way down to the bottom? I would need a stripe that would shoot it downward. And the only way I can get a stripe is if one drops through here. And in order to get that, it would have to move this off. That's all I can see in order to get this done in time. It, this is not likely to do anything, but it's most likely to make the most chaos. So pretty good. I was left with one and, uh, you know, unsurprisingly, it's down in the space here. 
I think I do have to focus on the base. I think the middle section is going to be the easiest to take out. I think this is the hardest, and then up here is the second hardest. So I'm going to pause, come back with a new board. I'll have the microphone turned off. I'm going to apply those same methods because I was only one away. So that shows that I'm on the right path. And once I solve this, I'll come back through and narrate everything for you. Okay, so it looks like we got a, a fraction of another uh, video um, when I tried and failed, but we're working on making the center cleared. There we go. Look at that. We've got wrapped. We've got striped. We're going to try to set things together. That's hard to do, but there's that color bomb and more big stuff happening. Let's blow everything up and clear out as much as we can while we can. I, I know I have some things in different spots that I can get, but I'm focusing on where I need to get things. And right now the, the top is fairly well done. I need to get to the bottom and then secondarily to that center area. So I could work here, but I think I want to stay on the bottom because that is the area that gives me the most difficulty. Ooh, I have a color bomb, and if I do that, it takes out a color and concentrates things down. Hopefully we'll see some progress here. We did. Now I could make a wrapped, but I think I want to go for a stripe that'll go along the bottom while I take out something. Oh, let's see. Okay, so now we've got everything cleared except that bottom portion I need to set off that stripe somehow I need to get something to set off that stripe there we go that's it I can use another stripe and that's how I clear that out I played that one fast and loose this didn't take me terribly long it was between five and ten tries and because of that I was still playing fairly quickly and not concentrating on each and every move that I had available uh, but that's that's a fun way for me to play, so forgive me for that. I'm sure you see a lot of things. You might think, why didn't she make this move? Well, because I was just playing too quickly to see it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you are stuck, that's when you should slow down. Bye-bye.